Hey you, what's up peoples, it's Martian Fusion and it's time for another book review. Today I'm going to be doing The Weapon of a Jedi by Jason Fry. So this book, it's the first one that I've read that's official canon because they wiped out the old stuff whenever Disney bought LucasArts. And uh, this one, it is official, it actually says um, Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens on the front of it, so that's the title of episode 7 if you, in case you were living under a rock. <laughs> Um, it follows the story of Luke Skywalker. It's somewhere between episode 4 and episode 5. Um, <clears throat> Luke's on a mission to do something, and he kind of, when he's at a planet along the way, he kind of feels the force telling him to go down there and investigate. So he does, lots of cool stuff happens, really good book. And um, the prelude and the epilude is also really good. <clears throat> to kind of, I think that's where the main tie-in to episode 7 is going to be, or well, one of the big tie-ins, because C-3PO is telling this story, the majority of the book, to a rebel pilot, but, and this is a good thing, it's not written as someone telling another person something, it's written from like the third perspective the omniscient third perspective of the author, which that's the way I like books, usually, or a first-hand account, not an eyewitness account. I don't really like eyewitness account kind of books, <clears throat> but that's just me. Um, there's like three or four other books that have come out that are also canon lead up to episode seven. Um, this one, as a been saying is about Luke. Another one is about Han Solo and Chewie. Another one is about Princess Leia. And then another one is about this duo of people that I've never heard of before, but are, judging from the fact that the book's like that thick, they're probably going to be important characters in episode 7. So that's something I might want to read before episode 7 comes out. But you know, I heard from Nolan's Eleven uh, YouTube channel that I watch sometimes that Star Wars Battlefront is actually going to be heavily tied in to the lead up to Episode 7. Like the Star Destroyer that's crashed on Jakku in Episode 7's trailer, that one of the battles in Star Wars Battlefront is going to show how the Star Destroyer got crashed, why it was crashed there. And so if they're doing that with dice, I mean, a video game level, that's something that takes a long time to develop. So. Maybe they're going to do something sort of like this, like I'm thinking more than likely because you see those X-Wings flying in the opening of Episode 7's trailer, maybe that pilot that 3PO is talking to, maybe that's, an, maybe that's one of the pilots that was sent out there because the call at the end of the epilude, the pilot has to go away, and so that's kind of like, okay, maybe they were told, hey, there were Imperials coming or something that, and that's why they were flying the X-Wings in the trailer in the first place. And if that's the case, then I'm really excited to figure out what the other books have for the lead-in. Because, I mean, it's something really awesome, because I can remember when Episode 3 came out, I was like 6 or 7, and I was just starting to get into Star Wars, but I can just, it's really cool, because I can just vaguely remember the excitement of, okay, the saga's coming to a close, and now that I'm older, I'm 16, I can kind of see it starting to come back, and my generation is going to be the generation that's getting the new Star Wars, and it's kind of apprehensive because, you know, Disney doesn't have the best track record, but reading this book, and then with all the gameplay footage I've seen from Battlefront, they might be able to pull it off. And if they can do it, that's going to be awesome. So, as far as the book goes though, I give it four and a half C-3PO's out of five because it's really well written. It's not only 200 pages long, but it was worth every penny. And they're, the author is really good at setting the atmosphere for it and kind of getting you into what the character is feeling, what they're thinking. And that's something that's a really good thing to have in a book, that I really enjoyed it. So that's pretty much it for this book review. 
kind of went into more than just books, but I think given the book that I was reviewing and the time frame, I, I think it was perfectly okay. That's it for this book review though. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And uh, I'm going to be trying to get the books that go along with this. So there might be some more book reviews in the near future. No promises on it, but I'm going to try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.